When I wanna satisfy my hankering for a cinnamon roll and stay low carb, I just make one cinnamon roll. Starting with the dry ingredients, you'll need to add the following to a small bowl. A third cup of almond flour, one tablespoon of egg white powder. This will help make our cinnamon roll fluffy and puffy without having to add a whole egg. Then one to two teaspoons of sugar-free sweetener. I give a range here because there's some people that like their cinnamon rolls, the breading part to be sweet, while others don't really care to have it sweet. Then a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. The xanthan gum is used for support since we aren't using an egg to help hold the cinnamon roll together. And then just a pinch of salt, which you don't see me add because I forgot to put it in, but know that it's needed. Oh, well, there it is. Now I realize my mistake. Thank goodness, that would have been disappointing. Missing that pinch of salt. Once it's mixed, now we move on to our wet ingredients. Here you're gonna add one tablespoon of melted unsalted butter, one tablespoon of sour cream, or you could substitute with plain yogurt, and one tablespoon of water. Stir that until it's combined, and you can see that it starts to make a sticky dough. If you feel like the dough is too wet and you're not gonna be able to shape it into a cinnamon roll without it sticking to parchment paper or your fingers, then just add a few sprinkles of almond flour but the texture should look similar to this. While you try to guess how I'm going to roll and bake this thing, let me tell you what Cinnamon Rolls and Element Electrolytes, who is my sponsor for today's video, have in common. They're best consumed in the morning. Well, at least my humble opinion. You wanna drink your electrolytes in the morning after a long night of good sleep because you usually wake up dehydrated. So obviously you're not drinking water while you sleep. We've already been over this. That probably means that you're drowning. Do not sleep in a body of water, unless it's a water bed. But if the water bed pops, then you might drink water. Regardless, most of us are waking up dehydrated. And the best way to increase cellular hydration is to add some electrolytes to your water. Each packet of Element has a science-backed electrolyte formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Electrolyte imbalances can cause sleepiness and fatigue, and nobody wants to deal with that in the morning. I'm a morning person, so I need to be focused and ready to go when I hit the ground in the morning. And these electrolytes, which by the way, come in a wide range of flavors, help me do that. And this cinnamon roll is gonna satisfy my comfort food fix without giving me a sugar crash or taking me hours to make. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free that you get to try with any Element order. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash keto focus. Before we roll this cinnamon roll dough, we need to make that buttery cinnamon goo that goes in the center. For that, you want to melt half a tablespoon of butter in a tiny bowl. I use the microwave, but if you think that's the devil, the more obvious choice is to use a hairdryer or a candle or just leave it outside on a hot day. To the butter, add a half a tablespoon of brown sugar-free sweetener. I'll have my current favorite listed down below in the description box. And then a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, and a pinch of salt for good luck. Didn't forget it this time. To roll out this dough, you're gonna need two sheets of parchment paper. I like to lay down a damp paper towel first to keep my parchment paper from sliding all over the counter. It's a trick I learned from one of you brilliant people. Now the goal here is to shape your dough into a long, thin strip kind of like the shape of these. I tried using a rolling pen to roll out this dough, but the rolling pen kept deciding it wanted to create a circle, which is what we don't want. I wanted a long, thin strip, like a ruler. So I ditched the rolling pen and the top of the parchment paper, and I used my hands to push and spread the dough into the desired shape. Then using a pastry brush, we paint the buttery cinnamon mixture on top. To roll it, you just start with one end and you just start rolling it like a wheel. When it's finished, I like to smash it down into a shorter, wider roll. It'll, this will just help it keep its shape. We are baking this in a ramekin or some sort of oven-proof container. The ramekin that I have doesn't say that it's oven-proof, but I like to get wild, so I used it anyway. Spray it with cooking oil first so that it doesn't stick, and then place your cinnamon roll in the ramekin. Is it called ramekin, ramekin, ram -a, a ding dong Place this in the oven at 375 degrees for 17 minutes. But if you think the oven's the devil, don't try and bake this outside or under a candle or using a hairdryer, it's just not gonna work. While that's baking, let's make a cream cheese frosting. For this, you'll need a half an ounce of softened cream cheese, half a tablespoon of softened butter, and one tablespoon of powdered sugar-free sweetener. Mix that together with a fork until it's smooth and combined. Our cinnamon roll is done baking once it rises and it gets golden brown on top. Took me about 17 minutes. Then frost the top. Use a spatula or a fork or a spatula 
or your fingers. The frosting will start to melt into the cinnamon roll itself and it's so good when that happens. This thing is pretty big too, so you're gonna get full. Maybe portion control isn't your thing and you wanna make a whole batch of cinnamon rolls? We'll just click right here because I show you how. 